while I was watching Cutworm today. He was looking at pictures and he was talking about the he had a front wheel abscond while he was driving. And it tickled me and it reminded me of a story. My brother used to run a truck repair business around Washington, D.C. up until he died. I worked for him for a long time. And uh, one day I was uh, back in the 90s. Back when I had hair, I was getting off 495. I was in the, on the inner loop 495, getting off on uh, 66 West, and you got off on the left, and you had went up there on this big bridge and went across 66, came down the other side, and entered on the right side of 66. There was a taxi cab in front of me, and his left rear wheel absconded while he was driving, and. Uh, Taxi cab went around and around and around and around a lot of bunch of times and it slammed into the Jersey wall and I was behind him in a, in a Suzu NPR which is a big truck and uh, it was full of tools and parts and all kinds of things air compressor and you know oil and waste oil and all kinds of stuff and I was standing on the brake pedal with both feet trying to stop not kill him and add, you know, make a bad situation worse, but I got stopped and I got up and went over there, talked to him and uh, I think he was from Africa somewhere, but, and he was really telling me about what happened, but it wasn't in English, I didn't understand a word he said. And uh, a state trooper was there behind us somewhere, he got up there pretty quick and, and um, was talking to the guy. Find out if the guy was all right, and, and uh, that tire that I absconded went off on the 66 and was going down the street, going down the westbound lane, and it looked like the parting of the Red Sea because everybody was trying to get away from it and just giving it room to to go down the middle of 66, and. While the trooper was talking to this guy, I'm watching this tire go through traffic. And it's going and it's going and it's going and it's just a dot in the distance. It's really small, but you can see the cars are getting out of its way. Well, this thing slowed down and it actually just started to wobble. And it laid right over against the car. I mean, it just like that against the car. And this guy got out of his car, left it right there in the middle of 66, got out of his car and started running back to where we were. It was a long ways. Through traffic to where we were. And when he got there, the troopers talk, trying to talk to this guy the guy that was the taxi cab driver. This guy got in front of the trooper and started cussing the taxi cab driver and putting his finger in his face. And that state trooper turned that fellow around and asked him what his problem was and he said that his tire had hit his car. And he said, sir, you need to go back to your car and I will come and talk to you. And he put his finger in that trooper's face and said, somebody is going to pay for this. And the trooper told him, as he pulled his handcuffs out of his little holster there, he said, sir, I, you can go to your car and sit down or you can go to my car and sit down. It's up to you. And the man turned around and walked back down 66 and I didn't see him after that. But uh, when... Uh, when Cutworm said about the the wheel absconding, that that reminded me of that. And that's uh, that's the memory I got from my archives. Uh, I don't know what the fellow with the with the fancy car, what kind of justice he got from that that wheel laying over on his car, but uh, I know what just kind of justice he was gonna get if he didn't get out of that trooper's face. <laughs>